What's up everybody, DK Dave here and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Uh, today we are delivering, I believe it was 20,000 pounds of car parts. We're going from Flagstaff, Arizona up to, to Las Vegas. I'm going to go ahead and start the engine up. Let's see. Alright, so we are... Um... Trying to figure out where I need to go, because from the looks of it, we are facing a fence. I don't know what direction I should turn. Okay, there's a trailer off to our, our left, so I'm just going to take it to the toward the right. Double. There we go, yeah. Go ahead and get it on going. I'm going to need to cut it pretty quick. And oh my god, is this more building? It's, oh shoot. Where do I go? Are you serious? Um, reverse? This is bad. I, I'm so bad at backing up. Alright, so from the mini map, I believe, maybe if I cut it more, I can get around this building. Can I? Can I? Yeah, yes, yes, maybe. We'll see. All, all right, yeah, looks like we should be able to. Let me go ahead and fire on up some lights. Oh, as I almost just run into the building. All right, I'm gonna then come this way. Make sure I have a lot of clearance. There we go, perfect. And straight into fourth. Oh, this is a different kind of uh, clutch than I'm used to. So the shifting will be a little different. Uh, doesn't seem like too much. So we're gonna go ahead and exit here. And hopefully that post-ed truck doesn't, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, hopefully he doesn't need to turn. And it looks like we are going to be good from here. Is he turning? No, he's not turning. All right, go back to the front. So I did... I was uh, I was told about the graphics mods that people put out for this. So I actually installed a uh, fancy graphics mod. I forget which one. It was like the one that was the most popular. So hopefully things look all kinds of fancy and better. And I actually already forgot how to use my blinkers. Because I'm a professional in no way, shape, or form. <laughs> oh, jeez. I know how blinkers work on a real truck. On my wheel, they're just... I got little paddle shifters instead of a thing. Oh, I should probably focus on shifting like I normally don't. So with this this uh, delivery though pays much better than some of the ones I've done in the past because I really want to own a truck. I'm tired of just driving whatever they give me. Like I'd rather have a truck that's mine, and that way I can like really learn how to drive it and just make it my own. Probably instead of just going, I should look. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're we're good. There we go. Got to cut it a little more. All right, then stop sign. And then we're turning here. And we will be on our way to Vegas. Yeah, Vegas, baby. What What is going on? Come on. He, he better stop. And, oh, there's two lanes. Yeah, I'm doing great. Just take all the lanes. What am I doing? <laughs> Best driver ever. All right, come on. And, man, these... Ge ah, burning through gears like no one's business. All right, speed limit is 35. I'm going a solid 16. Not a problem. Seeing 10th, I might be able to hit up there. 27. Oh, watch out. Speed demon. Delivering things in a timely manner. Alright. 
and one of my personal goals is to start staying in the lines when I actually turn, you know, because that would be nice. I need to move over. Here is my on-ramp. All right. So I want to shift, but I'm going up a hill. I don't remember which button will let me go up just a single gear. So I'd rather not accidentally drop it like into 15th or whatever by trying to shift up while going up a hill because, yeah, that'd be bad. All right, here we go. We are hopping on the interstate here. Go ahead and shift up. We're in 13th. Starting to pick up some speed. Get up to, to ramming speed. Or no, no ramming. We want a delivery speed, speedy delivery, speed X. All right, so, and we look clear. So, oh, hey, there are stars and stuff. But I was, I noticed that, why is the red line? Okay, anyway. I noticed that as soon as I installed the uh, graphics mod, that every single delivery I've picked happens to be at night. Like, I know I can, it shows you before you pick it, but I'll be like, oh, I'll do this one, and I don't really, like, look. I just go, oh, from here to there, it'll take this much time, I'm gonna do it. And they've just all been at night. So I kind of wish I had found one that was during the day, because I have not seen anything during the day since I installed the graphics pack. But so far, I think everything's looking better. I also made sure that all my uh, graphic settings were cranked up. Utilized my video card to the fullest. And let's see, I'm going a good solid 72. I don't know the speed limit. It's been rambling and not paying attention to any signs. I'm going to guess it's 75. Because out here, they seem to get up to that speed. And I noticed on the G on my GPS that the speed uh, turns red if you're if you're speeding. So it's not turning red. Oh, now it's turning red. Okay, so I'm either speeding or I'm about to be speeding. So perfect. Get on through here, and that police officer is going quite quite fast. 65, and I don't want to pass him. Yeah. You know, can, will the cops give you tickets in this? I I don't think so. I mean, I know that I have been 20 over the limit before, and I've never encountered anything where you get pulled over. I've gone through speed cams, and that, that sucks. Because usually I go through a speed cam while I'm like, oh, I should slow down in case there's a speed cam, and then bam, there happens to be one. But hopefully that's not the case anymore. Although most, I don't know about the rest of the country. Here in Missouri, we had speed cams or intersection cameras and they were around for a few years. And then a lot of people started saying like, oh, don't pay those tickets, they're being sued or it's gonna be reversed and all this. And it actually happened, like it took a while, but they sent refunds out to people and like the company that ran it, cause it was a third party company, it wasn't like actual police departments. Like, they got sued out of existence, I think. Or at least sued bad enough where they weren't, they're not allowed to do that anymore. Like, all the cameras are still there, but... I, if you turn on a spot you're not supposed to turn, you're not gonna get a ticket in the mail. Let's see, look, can we pass these guys? I mean, why am I going faster than them? They're not holding anything. I do want to try the, uh, I got the DLC with the, uh, the extra heavy loads or the wide loads or whatever. I think that, that would be interesting because I mean, I have enough trouble staying in the, on the, in the lines as is. It'd be fun to see how bad it gets when I have cargo that's wider than the lines. All right. And, oh no, I'm losing. He's beat me. Although driving, driving is not supposed to be a race, kids. It's supposed to drive defensively. 
And by defensively, I mean I am defending my title in first place. All right. Past him. Going to move back over. Speeding a little. I don't want to... See, now I'm going uphill. So it's like if I take my foot off the gas at the bottom of the hill, like I'm just going to lose all of it on the hill climb. So, oh well. But we are making great time. About 145 miles left. Let's see, I got about half a tank of gas. That I'm going to need to pay, make sure I try to pay attention to. Because this is probably the longest trip I've done. And I don't want to run out of gas, because that would suck. I don't even know what you do in the game if you run out of gas. I guess, are you able to, like, call a tow truck? Triple A, or is it just, like, that mission failed or something? Because, I mean, I don't know. It's a simulator, so I, I don't know. I, I would imagine that you can... You get fined or you call call a tow truck virtually and then you have gas again. But, whoa, and I need to make sure I stay on the road. So hopefully with this, we're going to hit daybreak. Uh, let's see, what time is it? Where do I have a clock? Oh, okay, it's 4.30 a.m. We still have another 120 miles. We might hit daybreak toward the end of the delivery, which... I'm excited for that, because like I said, I really want to see these graphic updates during the daytime. And one thing people were complaining about was at night that the cockpit's too dark, and personally, I think it's fine right now. I don't I don't see what the complaint is. I mean, it seems how it should. Oh, was I just speeding? Yep. Damn it. Well, okay, so that's what happens if you speed. You get a ticket. Jeez. Well, and here's our exit. <laughs> Just cut over, hope no one's there. Okay, and... Man, 400 bucks. Oof. All right, we look clear here. 400, that's quite the ticket, but I do think they hold 18-wheelers um, at a higher standard. I think that is a thing. Because I'm supposed to, you know, be have a special license and go through training. Like, I'm supposed to know better. All right, come on. Let's get going. Jeez, so slow. If I've actually used my gears properly, I wouldn't be as slow. But also, oh, I'm already speeding. I was just going to say, what is the speed limit here? So it appears to be 25. And also, I need to move over, don't I? And th there is a truck in my blind spot. Well, not really my blind spot now, but he's hovering there. Okay, come on, buddy. You need to go. Speed up. Come on. We need to hop on, what was that, the, the 93 to Vegas? Speed limit is now 55. All right, so we can start increasing our speed. Hop on up to 13th. All right. So that's got us climbing. <laughs> Looking down at things and I'm just bouncing all over the place alright go ahead and hop up to 16th gear okay. wow really dude I wonder if that's how they feel when people just zip around on the problem just like it's as fast as I can go come on alright we're going 60 I'm assuming the speed limit increased. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I need to get back in the lines. There we go. And... There we go. Perfect. All right. We're going 70. 
guessing the speed, yeah, speed limit's gotta be 75. I've yet to see it go higher than 75. I had, I did have someone comment one time that in certain parts of the country it goes up to 80, which I heard that, I've heard that before, like, that, that's a real thing. I just have not encountered anything like that so far in the game. So I cannot confirm or deny that. Let's see, all right, still rocking a good 70, 72. All right. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. So we're heading kind of along the or heading towards the mountain range. That's cool. And oh wow, it's like I wanted daylight. It, it just occurred to me. Hey, it's daylight out now. You can actually see things. And I, I mean, it looks good. I just don't remember how it used to look. <laughs> so. I've never driven to Vegas before with not not a graphics pack. So yeah, the game looks nice. I just I don't know. I say I could uh I do want to go through the Steam Workshop some more and maybe find some uh, other cool little things I can throw in the game. And then, like I said, I did get the DLC, so I do want to try out the DLC for it at uh, some point. Probably in the next, may, maybe the next video, I could try out the DLC. But mainly I've been just trying to uh, get a little better at handling the trucks. And then I've been playing a little bit, like not for episodes, just trying to get some money saved up. As I'm up to 25 grand, but I was doing kind of shorter deliveries. And those don't pay well. Like, I was making, like, two, three grand at delivery. And that's why I was like, I just need to do, like, a couple really long ones. But even then, like, the truck I want is, like, the, you know, the big, bad, awesome truck. And those suckers are, like, $180,000. So I either got to take out a loan or I got to do a lot of deliveries. And if I take out the loan, I still got to do all those deliveries to pay the loan back. So... Like, I'm not really sure, like, which would be the better option. Then I can get the truck now on credit or just play the game a bunch and then get it how I would, or how I should, I think, get it is with actual money. Yeah, I'm taking these turns way too quick. I'm just cutting the line. And we are in Vegas. Oh, it's so cool never been here before I've actually I've never been to Vegas in real life either so I do want to go to Vegas at some, at some point like I really want to check it out let's see and I need to turn so uh, oh I just cut off a cop <laughs> all right oh and red lights all right, so we got these guys here. And then once it looks clear, I'll start going. All right. Oh, that bus better, better not. All right. So we are here in Vegas. Our delivery is right up here. All right, I'm taking that wider than I need to. Do some shifting and what just happened? Alright, there we go. And is this a oh this is another light. I was like, why is this taxi stopped? Didn't see the other cars. Alright. So we gotta go straight through this intersection, it looks like. Okay, come on. I keep forgetting first is like garbage. You go like two miles an hour in it. Okay, come on, get through the intersection. Okay. So then, up here is the business. With our 20,000... Oh, what are you doing, dummy? Jesus. Or did I just run a light? I don't know. I thought I had the right of way. To let... 
this idiot just pulled out right in front of me. All right, so here's my turn. Go ahead and make it a little wide. There we go. And then I'm going to actually do this. Because usually they're like when they want you to park, you got to be able to clear the entrance. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm still not, I still am horrible at backing up. And I'm just going to pull in, see if I can even do that. Like, see, it wants me to pull in. Wait a minute. Let me. Yeah, right there. So there's that little fence there that I got to make sure I don't hit. And I'm going to hit it. Did I? Did I just hit it? Oh my gosh, I'm like clipping it and I'm in the grass. It's okay, folks. Just don't worry. They're just sitting at that table like, look at this idiot. Or at least that's how I am whenever I see stuff like this happening in real life. All right, let's... Now, here's where... I become a joke of a driver. No, 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 no. I want to straighten it out. Straighten her out. And then... Um, pull forward. And let me think. All right. So I need to move the trailer over. What am, what's my shifter doing? All right. So I want to do this. Wait, right? No. No, no, no. I'm treating this like a car. So go the other way. Do this. And there is a couple cars back toward that way. I really hope I don't hit them. Oh my lord, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Oh, I'm gonna... I am just hitting stuff. What? Oh my... This is so bad. Okay, and we're parked. Woo! Alright. So, there we go. Um, we got dinged with that traffic ticket, which was awful. But other than that, that was, uh, looks like our first long distance delivery, really. Uh, other than maybe the first time when I went to California, that was kind of a long one. But this is my first time in Nevada, going to Vegas. I now have Vegas discovered, so that should open up a whole new set of deliveries I can do. But yeah, for the most part, I thought that went kind of smooth. Didn't I didn't miss any exits, so I am getting better. I think this is the first time I haven't just missed my exit. Or with misjudging the GPS, just turn down the wrong road completely and have to like make a huge detour through the town to get back on track. But yeah, no, I, th I thought this one went pretty good. So I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, hope, hopefully you and nothing, nothing exciting happened. I hope you enjoyed it and you're still watching. Um, but in the next one, I'm going to try and uh, get some mods going or do the, the DLC with the, the extra wide loads or whatever it was, the big loads. So that'll, that'll be fun. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next video.